morning dear students today i am going to demonstrate the preparation of uh, mandel's throat paint mandel's throat paint is an iodine preparation which contain iodine as an active ingredient the ingredients used in this preparation include potassium iodide iodine alcohol 90% purified water peppermint oil and glycerin quantity sufficient in this preparation glycerin is used as a vehicle because of its viscosity this preparation is applied on the mucus lining of the larynx as well as pharynx to treat the local infection of the throat which acts as antiseptic and helps in killing the causative organism and gives relief from the sore throat during throat infection now coming to the principle involved in the preparation of this mandel's throat paint iodine is sparingly soluble in water but in this preparation to increase the solubility of iodine potassium iodide is initially dissolved in purified water and iodine is added to potassium iodide solution little by little with continuous stirring until all the iodine is completely dissolved when iodine is added to the solution of potassium iodide it forms potassium polyiodide complex which is highly soluble in condition once potassium iodide and iodine is dissolved in purified water the other ingredients that is alcohol 90% uh, peppermint oil is dissolved in alcohol 90% and that mixture of alcohol and peppermint oil is added to the mixture of iodine and potassium iodide solution then it is made up with to the required volume by adding sufficient quantity of glycerin since glycerin is used as a vehicle the volume is made up by adding sufficient quantity of glycerin after adding glycerin it is stirred well for uniform mixing of iodine and potassium iodide in glycerin once it is uniformly mixed then the preparation is transferred to a container and wide mouth container here uh, since the preparation is viscous in nature we have to fill or uh, the preparation is packed in a wide mouth container and coming to the usage of this preparation the preparation is applied with the help of a soft brush or the help of cotton swab onto the mucus lining of the throat paint and coming to the storage of the preparation since iodine is volatile in nature it has to be stored in a tightly closed container in a cool place to prevent the evaporation of iodine now i am going to demonstrate the preparation of mandel's throat paint initially weigh accurately all the ingredients that is potassium iodide and iodine required to prepare the required quantity today i am going to prepare 25 ml of mandel's throat paint here you can see the ingredients already weighed the required quantity according to the working formula is weighed and now in a beaker add potassium iodide dissolve in a water once potassium iodide is completely dissolved then add iodine little by little or you can add all at once because iodine is highly soluble in presence of potassium iodide and see to it that all the iodine is completely soluble in the solution of potassium iodide
yeah you can see iodine is completely dissolved in the solution of potassium iodide now keep it aside Pause. now measure required quantity of alcohol to dissolve peppermint oil 1 ml of alcohol 90% Yeah. One ml of alcohol is taken in a beaker and add peppermint oil which acts as a flavoring agent as well as induce cool sensation to the sore throat. Yeah, mix it uniformly, mix it properly so that it forms a uniform solution. Now add this solution to the solution of potassium iodide and purified water and stir for few seconds until all the peppermint oil in alcohol is uniformly mixed in the preparation. Finally, take glycerin. Take glycerin. Add until the quantity becomes twenty-five mL. Now the quantity of the preparation is 25 ml mix the solution of potassium iodide iodine in glycerin until it is uniformly mixed. Now this preparation is ready for filling into the container. So as I have mentioned in the discussion since glycerin is a viscous liquid it has to be packed in a wide mouth container for easy withdrawal of the preparation before application now add it to the final container which is previously labeled you can see the container is previously labeled with all the required components of the label that is quantity, name of the preparation, strength of the active ingredients, storage condition and category of the preparation and direction for application it has to be applied with the help of soft brush or a cotton swab onto the mucus lining of the larynx and pharynx and the label should also be a the date of manufacture, expiry date, manufacturing batch number and manufacturing license number. You can also see this preparation is prepared in Kaley College of Pharmacy, Belagam. Finally, close the lid with a tight, close the container with a tight lid to prevent the evaporation of alcohol and iodine. Thank you.